Hi there, this is Anna from Anna Aspinus Designs, and today I am sharing the Art Play Chris Dawn inspiration post via video. So you can see on my screen, I have the preview for the complete collection. It comes with the Art Play palette, some layered photo blends, some multimedia elements, some word art, and the artsy template. And then when you purchase all of the collection together, then you also get this fun little bonus here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of my favorites. I always start with the paperies because they are actually my favorites. And this is artsy paper number one, and it features the holly motif and Chris Dawn is actually the Danish word for holly. I really like the combination of the red and the green and the white. It's very Christmassy but I've also thrown in this dark gray and the pinks just to add a modernistic approach to the artistry. Notice also the texture that comes from some of the lace and the embroidery elements. I don't often use these bright colors, but I thought that this red was particularly warm and soothing for this time of year. And the black almost has a sort of chalkboard effect. So it really does add a little bit of modern into some of this vintage imagery. This is my favorite Art Play palette paper and I have included that as a template. So if I go ahead and drag this into my workspace, then you'll be able to see that this is the layout. You can go ahead and you can add in your own background. You can clip your photos to these frames and then of course add your title and your journaling. So super quick layout. You could also use these pieces individually to create your own page. I also delivered the photo blends in individual layers this time. So they are delivered in two different folders because of file size. I try to keep the download sizes of the files fairly small. And if you go in here, you can see we have the PSD version, which is great for Photoshop and Elements. And then if you're working in programs outside of Photoshop, you have the option to use the PNG file as a single layer. But then I've also included the layers separately so that you can recolor them and layer them up individually. And so that's the case for all five photo blends. I also have done the same thing with the multimedia elements. This is great because you can use those elements independently. You can also combine them from different files. So you have one, for example, and you have two. So you could take elements from two and combine them with one to create your own custom designs. And then we also have the bonus, which is super fun. So in the bonus, I have provided you with some layout ideas and then also a bonus multimedia element, which is pretty fun. So if I go ahead and pull this into my Photoshop workspace, you can see how you can go in and modify any of these layers individually. So I could select the ribbon layer, for example, and go to image adjustments, hue and saturation in the Photoshop elements that enhance adjust color, hue and saturation. And then if you move this hue slider either to the left or the right, in fact, it looks like I have selected the holly layer, the berry layer, as opposed to the ribbon layer, but it works in the same way. You can see how I'm able to just modify the color of that holly. So it could have more of a pink hue. It could have more of an orange hue. And then you could go down to the bow and then repeat that same action. So notice how I'm able to customize the ribbon to suit my preferences. So we could change it to green, we could modify the saturation, and you could also change the lightness if you wanted to as well. So a few ways that you can work with those files. Go ahead and close that down. I also have provided you with a few extra words, and I really like how these wooden words turned out, and then the two different fonts that I'm using. And these fonts actually coordinate with the December prompts, which are part of the AA Project 2019. 
And then we finally have this artsy layout. So I had a bit of fun. I put together a page. Haven't actually added a photo to it yet, but I have provided that page to you. So all you have to do here is to go in and add your photo, perhaps recolor some of these stains and some of these holly elements, add your journaling, which you could actually drag in from the artsy template. You could use one of the text boxes there and just type in your own journaling. So if you have a photo of you trimming the tree this year, then you could do that. I haven't yet put my tree up, so perhaps when I have an image, then I'll go ahead and do that. So that's a sneak peek into the actual collection itself. Now I want to go ahead and show you some of the layouts that the Anna Aspinus Designs team have created. So lots of template layouts in this grouping of layouts. This one is by Margot and notice how she's used the template. I really like how she has spanned, if that's a word. She's extended the same photo across all three frames. And this is a great approach uh, for these overlapping frames. I include these overlapping frames because I think they provide visual interest. And I know that people are often stumped on how to use them, but you could go ahead and you could put an artsy paper in there. You can see that Margot has put in a duplicate copy of her image in that background. You could also show a different part of a photo as well. So lots of different options as to how you could use these overlapping frames. I like how she's added this element into the mix and it sort of separates the two sides of the image and also creates a line between the two sides of the journaling as well and then she's customized this title it looks like she may have clipped a photo to that title and she's added in this date here and within this circle embellishment here. I always like to look for areas that are encircled in which to place my titles because it kind of draws the eye into those little details. Trish went with the red, which I love, and it's so fitting for her personality. I love how she has moved that secondary frame uh, down below the other two frames in order to accommodate another photo. So a um, really fun way to use that very same template. Notice the difference between the light background and then the darker background. And then Heather has used that darker background. And darker backgrounds are really cool when you have sort of lighter photos. Notice how the whites look much brighter against the darker background. So I like how she's placed the photo sort of between the artistry and notice how she's applied the sticker effect to her title by adding a stroke overlay and then a drop shadow layer style. Really love how Heather sort of fuses the digital and the artistry with a more traditional approach. And notice here how she has used and focused on the plaid of, I believe it's her son's shirt to fill that frame. She's also matted her frames with the book element from the art play palette, which is super fun. And then her embellishment here, her custom embellishment. So she has essentially taken elements from the art play palette, layered them up, to create her own multimedia element. And then Viv has used the same background paper, but notice how she has actually placed her photo over the top of the artistry. So there's always two different ways to place photos. You can kind of place them in the white space or you can place them in the artistry. I also really like how she has mirrored the shadow in her photo by using just the shadow of the element. I've never seen that before and I thought that was a really neat touch. Moni's used the same paper here and so she's sort of adopted the same approach as Heather where she has blended her photo into that solid background and then she's applied her elements over the top and it sort of takes the eye from one side of the page to the next. 
And then the last one using that gray background is by Adrienne. She created an extraction of a heritage image and she's layered up all sorts of elements from the art play palettes. Love how she has whimsically put her subject on top of this jolly wood and then the spray in the background and all the magic sparkles make it super special. And then this one is by Laura. So she is documenting the tree cutting, which is super fun. And she's actually done a custom design here. So it looks like she has taken various transfers from the art play palette and she has placed them over her background paper. Really like how she's added in the paper textures to create visual interest. And it sort of draws the eye to her subject. Notice how we've got this diagonal direction of design flow going through the image and another one here um, again she's sort of played up on the artistry of that artsy paper five and she's got her photo in the center and she's drawing the eye and leading the eye through but I really like how she's got this thread just sort of coming down the bottom here and then she's balanced that with her word art up at the top. So we've got all of these different lines and that creates tension in the design. This one is from Artsy Paper number four and this was a really fun approach. The application of a photo effect to her image which has then been clipped to one of the photo blends and then placed over the book. She could have also applied a multiply blending mode to that mask and that would probably allow some of the underlying book to show through. So you might get the spine showing through the bottom there. So that would be a really fun approach to see what the, that would look like. But I really liked how she used this old book element in her design. This is Ella May, by the way. And then another one by Margot. I like how she's used that multimedia element. She's customized it to make it work for her images. And she's used it as an extension of her artistry. It's almost as if there is a hair piece in her subject. So it's sort of giving this idea that she's got ribbons in her hair. And then the final layout is by Mikey. And again, she's done a lovely job. It's, she's almost created this scene. She has the Christmas tree, but then she's placed this brushwork in the background. We've got the birds and she's added in this deer here from a different art play palette. He's almost sitting in the background. And then you've got this nice element that comes across draws the eye and then this archway with the embellished title. Um, so notice how the red sort of draws the eye through the design and it is very intentional in how she wanted you to view the artistry. So those are the layouts that I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully you didn't mind this video post. Sometimes it's nice to switch it up. If you have any questions about any of these techniques, you can always reach me at Anna at AnnaAspinusDesigns.com. Wishing you a very happy holiday if I don't speak to you before then. And um, I will see you in the new year. Take care and have a blast with this new Art Play Palette collection. Mm -hmm.